Today is March 29th, 2023. <clears throat> oh, it's been bad. Believe it or not, with everything that's going on, they don't have enough common sense to stop. I've never met people that are so insane. I would walk right around harassing people. Uh, I got to thinking about different... Well, last night, I'll get back to last night. Some guy walked by an apartment with another guy. Now, they're out there screaming until like 3 in the morning. Cut me over. I had to be at work at 7. 30. Or actually, I have to be there at 8 at 7. 30. You know how mad I am? I worked last night until 11. And they're out there screaming until 3. Okay, driving by yelling stuff because they're a bunch of idiots. Well, some guy walked by in my apartment. They asked me, and I told him I just didn't believe her before, but I opened that case for it just in case. Bullshit. Bullshit. Okay? He's like, did you find out uh, who I uh, actually taped her before? It was just one guy. And they didn't know anything about it? Or, and they're going on? No, they feel bad about her. And all this stuff happened to her. Okay. I got to do some reports on my dad then. Well, that's a lot to have so far. Okay. Well, I got to thinking during the case. They're all 18 in front of the investigators. Some guy was there. He's African-American young guy. Okay. And they were talking about a guy named Terrence. Okay. And they were talking about him. Well, he shows up. And he gets behind me. In Walmart. You know my name. You know my name. You know my name. And I ignored him. I'm going to act like a fat five-year-old. Okay. I got my stomach scoped in January of 19. Uh, I, after I moved out, I had got a bill for like ten, thirteen dollars something like that. I went down to pay it. He's in there. He's got his head down. Between, like, way better. Okay, some large white man's in there telling him off after what you did to her. You'll make it up to her. He's like, let me get the door for you, honey. Within a couple days, I'm at Belton Taco Bell. He's there with a lady. I don't know how to make it up to her after what I did to her. He's one of those gang members. He had bet those guys, I can push her to suicide. You can't do that. Watch me. He said, I'm putting a bet on it. Last year, I'm uh, my clients on Shepherd Church Road. Okay, cross the way. There's another African American man, and they're screaming out about the guy that bet he could push her to suicide, and he was wanting his money. And they were going to try to use that I was smoking, and that he should get it for that. They pushed me to smoke. The constant harassment. See, they said, by January 19th, the one guy said, what's going on? It's a bet between two gentlemen. One said he could make her give up everything in life. He said, I can't do that. He said, um, he said he could get other people to participate. He said, you can't do that. He said, he said, look, it's a 25 gram bet. Will win the drug trade. There was a guy that showed up in 21. I'm out with one client. I'm at Sheen's. Some guys are in there. And 
They had been run around breaking. They drugged me and told me to say stop. They admitted to raping me in front of him. I guess kept on saying I don't know. He said, uh, some guys came in and went, yeah, right. And they said that you're actually this dirty word. Well, he clenches up his fist. He was going to put on my like, stand. The sky walks is 50 brown hair. 200 pounds. Okay. He, he walks out and he said, I don't want anybody to say anything to her with what's going on. Okay. Well, he showed up this year. Right before Valentine's Day. Now, I hadn't seen him since 21. That was like November 21, December, when he showed up, okay? Uh, let's see. He showed up by February this year of 23, and it was right around Valentine's Day. I go down looking at the Valentine's candy. A big 350-pound man came up and said hello. And I'm like, hi. You know, and he walks over to him. He's standing in an aisle. I thought, God, I haven't seen you in over a year. He um, he walks over to that guy. You want to go out and talk to her? You can. He said, Did anybody say anything to her? He said, No. He said, Good. He's been watching me since twenty one. Okay. Now, I told you, Will was one of the main parents making fun of me, the young blonde girl, in 18 in March. When they laughed at me, I didn't know who this girlfriend was. She walked in front of me six months before the case. And then once they showed up, the human trafficker showed up. They said that was Michelle and Will. And he was one of the main parents mocking me. They said he was in debt to him. That's how not funny this is. And being part of that gang that is bad as the gang that was in the 70s that used to kill people, rape, torture, human traffic. It's like a new version of them. I'm going to go ahead and upload this. People need to realize how not funny this is. People are dying. And I've been trying to get them help. And people run around thinking it's funny. That people draw... You gotta think. It's a good thing my kids didn't know. We're gonna put it this way. It's a good thing they didn't know that some, well, they knew somebody kicked in my door and vandalized my house and knocked it into the wall. They spread in and entering and vandalized my property. Setting up button cameras stalking me and where I had giant bruises everywhere, throwing up, uh, almost passing out in front of the neighbor by the second week and I lost 18 pounds in about two and a half months. It's a good thing they didn't know. That's attempt to murder, drugs, kidnapping, stalking, breaking and entering, vandalizing property. There's a lot of charges. I was watching this one show last night. This one cop got roofie. He was walk, sleepwalking for 10 hours. Did everything he was told. They said the drugs they used on me, they could control everything I said and did. You're sleepwalking with no memory. A day rape drug. Where people think it's funny, it's not. And they need to realize how not funny this is. And realize how dangerous those drugs are. They said they could control everything I said and did. I, I, from the time that I remember even getting dizzy to waking back up, six hours. Four to six hours. On that one show, they had this one guy sleepwalking for 10 hours but they were breaking they could and I didn't talk to anybody I've never been questioned of wrongdoing I've never been prosecuted never found guilty they told everybody they did it without me and didn't bother to tell me it's like how stupid are you police and agencies can only be in a home under a threat of life and have to speak to everyone before they start it's abuse and misconduct failure to protect is abuse and misconduct it goes into the right of privacy illegal search and seizure how could you be this stupid? Some gang pulling a scam down here. And then an agent being part of it. See, you could never open the protective case, custody case if you really didn't believe me. Because that would be fraud. And what was there not to believe? I had all kinds of evidence and witnesses. 
Like they said, he was in debt to those drug dealers. That's why he did it. He's got a gambling problem. They played him like a fiddle.